Hello and welcome to Miss Bailey's Daily Dose. Today we are going to be learning to convert analogue time to digital time. So I've got a quick starter first to see whether you can figure out what the time is showing. So here is our analogue clock. Is the time showing half past one, two o'clock or three o'clock? So is it showing half past one, two o'clock or three o'clock? So if I have a look at that long hand, that minute hand, that's at the 12, so I know it's an o'clock time. And now I need to look at the hour hand, which is pointing at the number three. So I know that it is three o'clock. Woo, would be like that. And the next time, this time we're looking at telling the time to the nearest five minutes. So I'm looking at that big hand and I'm remembering that I'm going in five minute increments. So five, ten. So I know it's ten minutes past because I know that this half of my clock tells me how many minutes past the hour it is. And then I need to look at my hour hand, my shorter hand. I'm seeing which hour it's just past, and it's just past five. So I know that it is 10 past five. AM and PM are abbreviations that tell us whether the time occurs in the morning or in the afternoon or evening. AM occurs in the morning. It stands for anti-meridium, which means before midday. You can think of it as before noon. PM occurs in the afternoon and evening. It stands for post-meridium, which means after midday. You can think of it as afternoon. In the AM PM system of time, which is what most people use and what you are used to seeing, a 12 hour clock is used. That means that the morning goes up until 12 o'clock noon. It starts over again with one o'clock and goes through 12 o'clock midnight. In contrast, a 24 hour clock does not start over after 12 o'clock noon. The next hour, which we normally think of as one o'clock PM is 1300, then 1400, etc. Time goes all the way up until 2400 midnight, which can also be called 0 hundred because it is the start of the next day. Let's look at a few examples. What is 7 o'clock p.m.? on a 24 hour clock. 7 o'clock p.m. is afternoon, so this is 7 hours past 12 o'clock. We can simply add 12 plus 7 equals 19. Answer 1900. Note that AM and PM are not used with a 24-hour clock. So you can see from that little video that when we're looking at digital time, we are looking at the 24-hour clock. And here's an example of one here. So midnight to noon is our black number. So 1 o'clock, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, and then we go 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And it can also be called 0, 0, 0, 0. So they're those black numbers. So we use four digits when we're looking at our digital time to show whether the time is afternoon or before noon. And if it's before noon, then we know that we have to put a zero in that place if it's say two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. When we get 
to 10, those two digits, then we know we need to put those digits in there. But from one to nine, if it's before noon, we need to put a zero before that single digit hour. So you can see here, my big hand is at the three. So that's my minute hand, which is showing me it's 15 minutes past, and I can see here it's two. Now, if I was saying that that was the time before noon, then I'd put a zero, two, and then one five. So my minutes is 15 minutes. And if we were then looking on our analog time at quarter past two in the afternoon, so PM, we would write this on our digital 24 hour clock as, oh, sorry guys, as 14, 15. The minute stays exactly the same, but instead of 2.15, which would be equal on our analog clock to 15 minutes past two in the morning, it's showing 15 minutes past two in the afternoon, so after noon time. You can see here how we change the 12 hour clock into the digital 24 hour clock. So 1 a.m. would become 0100. 2 a.m., 0, 2, 0, 0, and it goes on and on and on until 12 noon. And then we go to 1 p.m., which becomes 13, 0, 0, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then midnight becomes 24. So if we were having a look at this one on the analog clock, and we were looking at how we can convert 3 a.m., so that's before noon which means it would be zero three oh my board is not going to work for me today so sorry zero three zero zero now if i change that to 3 p.m so three o'clock afternoon in the afternoon 3 p.m it would change so it wouldn't be zero three zero zero anymore i'd have to be putting my 13 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and at the top we've got a 24, so my 24 hours on. And I know that it would be 13, 14, 15. So I'd change that to 15, zero, zero. Then on this one, if I was saying that it was 6.55 a.m. That's how it would look, and I'd put my zero here. But if I wanted it in the p.m., again, I'd be putting my hours on. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And because it was 6. Before I'm looking at six and it says 18, so it would become 1855, and that's showing me 655 in the evening. Now, you might have noticed that I've got 55 in the minutes box, and when we did the analog time before, that equaled 52, so that would be showing 527. When we're doing it in digital time, it shows the full 60 minutes. So it's like you're going around in your fives. So it'd be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then 60 would be at the top, which would be 00. So you can see here that it's 55 minutes. And this time we wouldn't say it's 55 minutes to seven we wouldn't say it's 55 minutes past seven because it's not past the seven yet it's past the six so that is showing 55 minutes past six on a digital clock so if we have a look at this next one and we look at our minute hand first and put our five minutes in as we go around the clock so 25 30 35 i can see it's 40 so i know my minutes I'm putting 40. Now, on this one again, because we're to the hour, if we were looking at an analog clock, which is this one, we would say that that would be 22 at the next hour. But on this one, we're looking at how many minutes past. So it's 40 minutes past, 
and then we're looking at which hour that hour hand is past. So it's not past the six, it's past the five. In a different colour, I can show if we were talking about five before midday, so before noon, then we're going to be using our zero and our five. If we were doing it the other way, so we're looking at it after noon, so after midday, we're going to be doing it like this. So it would be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 would be the hour. So 17 and then 30, 35, 40. And you can see how it's changed. So it's gone from 540 to 1740. Let's see if we can do one more. So on this one again, let's have a look at the minutes. So I'm going 5, 10. So my minutes are 10. And then I'm looking at the hour hand. So my smaller hand is pointing at just past the 10, because it's 10 minutes past. That would be if I was looking at it in the AM on my analogue time, because it's before, before noon. If I was looking at it after noon, the minute stays exactly the same. And you can see this red number would be 22. So it'd be 10, 22. That's how we do the time. So say if I was looking at writing the time six o'clock, in digital time. If I was looking at the 12 hour clock and doing 6 a.m., I would draw it, my big hand pointing at the 12, because that shows me an early clock time, and my little hand pointing directly at the 6. So I know that my minutes would be 0, 0, and that's going to be the same in both of them, so I don't change the minutes. The thing that changes is the number in the hours. So if I was doing 6 o'clock as in a.m., it would be the six. So I'll put my six here and the zero here to say that it's before noon. If I was doing it as a PM time, instead of looking at that six, I'd be looking at the 18. So it would be 18, zero, zero. 